Greetings everyone, welcome to Sea Sparkles Corner and today we're looking at a something that's got a bit of a backstory behind it. And this was actually a suggestion from Amazon. I saw this in its robot mode, I was like, is that a Nissan GTR on Amazon.com as a suggestion? And well, I got curious about it, so then I actually clicked on it. I was like, is that a transformer with a figure? No photos of it, the box, with them in the box on Amazon. So I went and Googled it and I actually saw them in the box and was like, okay, this is a surprise. This is a transformer with a figure. So I got curious about it. Well, this is actually take two because the first take was a open box review. And you're about to find out why it went so wrong when you're about to see everything. So let's, uh, here's the box's front. Transformers works with the uh, G Super GT. Uh, GTR Maximus is the final item for T TFG uh, Mission GTR. Well, basically here. Let's look at, can, can camera get a good focus on that? Okay. Well, I'll read it to you. Since this text ain't anywhere on the internet. TFGT was launched to show the possibilities of the Transformers collabor collaboration series. Once again, our ambition was to turn TFGT into a animation and we accomplished some things that has never been done in the past. SuperGT has cooperated so much with us and treated us like one of the main sponsors. There were TFGT full body suit, TFGT comics, and even Race Queens with the help from Team Ma Match. Even Race Queens with the help from Team Match. And sorry about that, I said that twice. And we know that this collaboration could be even bigger. The challenge continues. Autobot Third Commander, GTR Maximus. A bunch of other Japanese stuff on here. I can't read Japanese. Sorry. <laughs> And then on the back here, we got a photo of the robot behind the car and the uh, and the figure. His sister. Which is head, uh, the, the sword, which is also a jack. Uh, and the action pose with the jack as the sword, the car with the openings on it, more openings, uh, the detailing. And then here we got a photo of the figure with the Staten Advent GTR GT sister named Hiro, profile in Japanese. Some pose examples, and then over here we got uh, the face, the weapon, the vehicle mode. Then here we got some text, Super GT, a project for cultural exchange between man and Transformers from joint research between Autobots and humans were created, race car, bodies imbued with the powers of Transformers now. The racers of Earth team up with their Transformers to battle it out on the circuits. I'm guessing the girl must be some sister or something. Uh, okay, that's the box. What's that over there? Okay, this is another back take. And let's see if I can get her back standing up again. The, uh, the cover on the table got shifted a bit. All right, there we go. I want the camera person show, uh, show the car and the figure. And it happens again. I'm going to have to pull the next time I do something. That it's, the figure's really, really hard to get to stand on its own, just to let you know. And I want to get into that in a sec. Why? Because you see the feet, even you're going to be like that. Well, it's not smart. All right, I'm just going to go ahead and get to the, get to the review. The figure comes with extra hands. And when I opened it up the joints were astonishingly stiff in the three spots but when I actually decided to actually check, check it out myself off camera and basically be my first take I actually forced the joints free so the figure's actually a lot better made than even I expected so you got here the uh, you got here the swivel and even now the joints are still wicked wicked stiff I don't know if it's, they got mini ratcheting in here or something I don't know what if they got ratcheting here that's just stupid figure this small I mean you just gotta use ball joints and you got you got kind of like a so you got this joint and you got another joint here I mean there's a lot of joints on this very very 
tiny figure, even the head's on a ball joint. Very shallow ball joint, mind you. You could actually use, I had multiple faces, heads in here for different faces and helmets. Because that ball joint is so, so, and of course the other arm's the same, pull the hands off apparently, put it on other hands, we got one, two, three, four, five, six different hands. Guessing two of them is to hold the weapon. But I'm like really changing hands on this. And then you got legs, which also up here is two ball joints, but the stiff plastic skirt basically completely hopelessly restricts these ball joints. And then you got this joint here, which is just got a double knee joint, which is really pretty crazy on a figure this small. I mean, that's just nuts. And then you got the ankle joint here which you hear it's it's that stiff and then you got this weird peg right here the way the feet can do that now the feet have peg holes for a stand it did not come with the stand for this tiny figure that's that's crazy no stand was a clue with this tiny figure now the feet here, because they put them on such high platform heels, ironically, that's really part of the problem here is because the figure is so small, she really, really desperately needed a stand for posing. Otherwise, you're just going to have to basically take the car and just completely brace her weight into the car. Otherwise, this just ain't gonna work. But you can take your time and do that, but you know what, let's get to the meat and grits. That's cool. All kinds of neat little, little stuff on there. I would, if the figure could do that, that would be that would be awesome. If the figure could do that, but because of the way the molding is on the figure and the weight, she can't do it. That would require the weight to be in the shoe in order for it to be on something. I mean, they expect us to do stuff like this with the figure. <laughs> okay, uh, instructions is a hopeless, just kind of like give you a basic idea of what to do okay but I want to actually go into this and show you where the instructions is wrong all right so we're going to start with step one it says you're basically to the car's basically closed up right it says you're to pull the back section back okay no That ain't gonna work. It ain't gonna happen. All right. That's the. That's the. That's the first basic problem. What you got to really do is basically take and hold the hood, snap it back, like that. Not that. Like this. Okay. All right. It says gives you two different ones to do it. Okay. And then basically next to it says to turn the legs. Okay. That's actually fairly right. All right. At this point, you want to open the doors to get them out of the way, and then take the seats, kind of like angle them up a bit. All right, you're about to see why in a sec. Okay, now this section here, I don't even, I don't know what it says in Japanese, but just here on out, it's just basically I figured it out on my own. All right. All right. So basically, next up is you're going to want to. Kind of like there's really a lot of crazy pigging on this guy. There it is. When I say crazy pigging, you know there is crazy pigging. I got a room of transformers which legitimizes when I say something. There it is. All right, so basically, you got this little peg which goes into here. So basically, get this to come free, 
you have to actually almost angle the back a bit and then lift it up, which I'll show you on this one because I didn't get this one yet. All right, just finger here, finger here, lift it to the side. All right, now next up, fold this out, part of the foot. I'm not kidding here, part of the foot. And then basically swing these around. Now then, you just turn that around and turn this one around. I mean, the transformation is actually pretty dang strange. You basically almost explode open the car, kind of, and then refold the whole thing into the robot. All right, there we go. The only irony here is that there's actually very little pegging to keep the robot in its robot state, which is really pretty unorthodox. There it goes. Okay, the spoiler, you guys gotta kinda like... There we go, let's turn it this way, that way it's a little bit easier. Get it. Kinda like, I don't know if it hinges on this plus, which is just a bit of a pain, there we go. All right, that's the legs. Now, I want to show you one of the parts of the instructions was really horribly. All right, it's right here. It just says you take and pull these two forward. But I want to show you something this doesn't show you. All right, take them. Now, just to let you know what's going to happen here is that this has got some of that Transformers Michael Bay automorph crap in it. Okay, basically pull these two forward, and then okay, that look right here. It brings the head up, and at the same time, it's going to pull these arms out. Uh, all right. Now then, I don't know if the camera's going to be able to pick it up, but if you look in here, there's a peg right here, and there's a peg hole right there. Peg hole, peg. I don't know if the camera's really getting that. All right, basically pull it forward, and then I'm gonna squeeze them into those peg holes. Which, as you can see, pulled the arms out. Yeah, this is this is quite right now. At this point, I actually finish up the torso. It's basically. Basically, this is your center console, console of the uh, Nissan GTR right here. And you got this crazy, like, double hinge system here. All right, basically goes like that. And then basically take the upper section and you bring it forward, which then brings out the lower body abs. And then make sure you. Now, there's one more thing to show you is that you got this little slot here. Got this peg here. That's where you want that to lock into place. Now at this point, we're almost done this fairly super intricate transformation of uh, sheer craziness. It's actually fairly, fairly super tightly packed. So it's okay, now you take the seats, you fold them back. And you fold this seat back. And then now your fenders might actually come out of the pegs, but just tighten them back up in there. And then you just basically you lower down the army robot. And then you take this bit here, you swing, swing that sucker around. You might want to move it around until you find a spot with some clearance because. A lot of the joints on this are actually offset. There you go, that's that one. And then 
arm, lower the arm, and then fix the leg back up. Because I actually put too much weight on it. All right. Now, that actually completes the transformation to turn the fist around. And that's it. Properly transformed, it's actually not catastrophically bad. The only real perk here is that you actually get an instructions which actually shows you the completed robot. Which actually have a couple options here at the feet. You can actually lift these up. And then well, the problem is that then it'll be actually tipped forward. So I actually mostly keep the spoilers down to keep the feet actually more even. All right, I'll get a nice A stance here. And then you take his jack sword, which is that is. And then you actually slip it in the hand. Okay, he's actually got two Autobot symbols, one on the belt buckle, and then one on the top of the head. I think it's the Autobot symbol on the top of the head. Well, it's supposed to be, supposed to be there, I think. It's supposed to be an auto symbol on the top of it, but I'm not sure. It might just be a pig symbol painted under it. I'm gonna go ahead and just stand her in the front here. Right, I can actually get this girl to stand. There we go. <coughs> there we have it. That's a Nissan Nissan GTR Maximus in its robot mode. And yeah, the instructions are that bad. I mean, it don't show most of that in here. Here's the real irony. Here's from robot. Point one, point two, point three, and they're point one and they're point two, which is basically to flip the head in and then put the hood down. After my camera person gets a good 360 on the robot here and all of its rather strange kibble displacement for the car, I'm going to go ahead and show you how I do it back into the car mode. <clears throat> okay, this is how I do it in the car mode. Let's get it out of the way. Pull the jack out of the hand. Now, it heads up. The fist on GTR Maximus is. She can't stand up for the dang camera person. <laughs> okay, the joints on the robot is, of course you got your good shoulder and then you got, you got the joining here, but if you actually see what happens with the door when you actually move the arms that way, that joint's actually questionable if that's even been used. And you got your elbow and then you got your swivel with very, actually very little obscuring it as long as you actually got it kind of relatively straight. And you can actually move the seat left and right for any clearances you need if that gets in the way. So that's actually a good benefit. And then you got an offset wrist joint. It feels offset to me, which is actually also on a hinge. So that's actually a good thing. And then you got your head, which is because it is such a shallow neck, I don't know if it's a ball joint or what, but it goes all the way around. That's mostly thanks to the transformation. Then you got your ratchet, very nice loose ratchet right there. And then, and you got kind of like a slight hinge here with some fairly odd clearances on account of the sculpts. And you got your knee and then it, foot's broken all over the place on this thing. I mean, look at this. Because of basically folding most of the car down here. Actually, because you got 
Yeah, you're basically completely detached ball jointed toe. Okay. That's everything. And again, you got this weird thing going on here. So, okay, let's put it back into the car mode. What I do is I actually will turn the head around first, just so that way it's done. And then I will turn the fists around so that way the, when I'm done, the smooth part of the fist is pointed down to at least hide those. Okay. And then I kind of like partially put the seats up. And you got this weird thing here too. I, I don't know what's up with this. I don't know if that's supposed to be like a gun or something. I, I don't get what's what's up with that. I mean, huh? I mean, the instructions don't mention anything about this, but this hinge is, but this piece is hinged. I don't get it. Okay. All right. That's it. Okay. I finished writing about that a little bit. Okay. Now I actually will separate this out so that we finish the center console. Okay. And then I will basically turn this, which just so you know, this piece here will actually automorph back up on its own. Okay. And then I basically will turn it so the doors are rotated properly. And then I fold this out. And then I fold this out. That way that's done. All right. Now, I'll basically then unpeg these. Which, given how sensitive the transformation is on this, these will probably unpeg on their own for you. Okay. So now let's jump back and basically destruct the feet back into the uh, back into the car. I'm basically calling it destruction because I feel like I'm basically just completely destroyed Maximus. I mean, that's basically, I mean, look at this. I basically just destroyed the robot. Honestly, when you're transforming something, you really shouldn't feel like you basically just killed your robot. You just feel like you're turning your robot into something else instead of actually destroying your robot completely. Okay, the underside of the bumpers. It basically took your feet back in. It actually took your toes, and that's basically the only thing of a robot that's actually not something from the car. <clears throat> Now basically you get line all these pegs back up. Now you basically peg the rear end of your car back in. And now basically I jump to the middle. Because I got just got the back all all prepped up. <clears throat> Alright. Now at this point you're gonna wanna put the hood up and then basically pull this automorph piece back. Alright. All right, basically pull the more piece back, you pop Maximus' head back in. And basically, you took that, all that back there. You, you'll hear the click, unfortunately. I was talking over it, sorry. And then now, you have the fun part. This part, I haven't figured out which is easier, doors open or closed. I've tried both, but regardless of how you look at it, basically, here's everything you need to line up. This into here, this into here, and that peg there, into that slot there. Basically, peg this back together. And then basically, all these like clips just that's everything that's you basically got to line up now, which I haven't really found an effective way of actually getting all this, all this to basically line up right in one quick, easy go at it. And of course, make sure you put the seats up. So, now, honestly, I don't know what this was designed for, considering you get so much up to actually get a good robot is crazy. is just really in the way when you're trying to line the middle up. All right. All right. All right. There 
we go. Alright, that's that, that's that. Okay, now let's clip this back in. Alright, didn't have that quite folded in all the way. Okay. Oops, missed this one. There we go. There we go. All right. I think I mostly got everything back into place and there. Yeah, most of everything in place is sure so that door's actually a little out of place, but there you go, in reverse. It's actually very nice GTR. Very nice GTR. I mean. I actually like the car mode. I just wish it wasn't such a pain to, to transform it from the robot from the car to the, from the robot to the car. Because there's almost no pegging in the robot. There we go. Got that door shut. It's because there's no pegging in the robot. It's very, very easy to do Sega. It's going to be GTR Maximus. Into it. There we go. Okay, go. There we go. I mean, the car is where all the pegging's at. That's the whole problem. But there you have it. This thing is a beast to transform. And actually, after two or three tries, it's actually not as hard as I thought. Those instructions are rubbish. Thanks for watching. And uh, as always, like, comment, subscribe. I haven't decided if I'm going to get another one to see if it's up there instructions or not. <laughs> so, I've actually seen some pretty good poses with the with the girl online. I don't know how to do it. This thing's balance is horrible. I I can't even barely get her to stand. Well, I don't know. Uh, you you know what? I'm gonna leave it up to you. Put in the comments below if you think you like this because this is supposed to be a jack, by the way. This sword's a jack, to remind you. Uh, you put in the comment if you think this was worth it. I, uh, just so you know, I paid like a little over 30 bucks for this. Oh, just so you know, there is die cast in this. The die cast is along here. Just so you know. It's all along here. This gray piece is, is die cast. Okay? The figure I got was really stiff in three joints, but I broke them free. Just to remind you. So... You put in your comments below if you think this is a good a good investment or if you like it. I mean, you've seen it. You've seen the hell I've gone through actually transforming. This is only the fourth time I transformed it. So thank you for watching. Check out our Patreon page if you've seen it. It's, if you didn't like it, it's actually a lot better now. And I want to sit around the car. One last roundabout, and then that's it. Thanks for watching. Oh, I did forget to mention the jack actually does into the car. It's, it goes here. And it stays and it goes while well, it gets back here and it stays. Yeah, put in your comment below what you think about it. Thanks for watching. Goodbye.